And what I'm doing here is I'm trying to just move occiput and C1 on C2. So what I'm going to do is I find C2, okay, and I move my fingers directly superior to C2 because that would be C1. Okay, so I can't feel C1. This, this doesn't really have a spinous process, but if I am between C2 and the occiput, I know I'm over C1. So I get onto C1 and I have my fingers kind of like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift everything up together. Okay? So here, here we go, right there. Okay, patient's eyes should be open. <laughs> And I'm just lifting, relax, I'm just lifting everything straight up, okay? And you leave the eyes open, hold for about 10 seconds. If you see the eyes doing anything weird, the lump in the throat sensation, anything like that, these are all the positive findings. So the paresthesias in the face, the muscle spasm, the dizziness, the kind of soft and feel. Keep the eyes open when you're doing that test, all right, because you have to really be careful um, that they don't their eyes aren't going all over the place. And again, if these are fine, these findings are positive, these are kind of red flags, okay? So this is not the patient that will just say, well, we'll just do an ultrasound on a hot pack and call it a day. Um, that could be a very serious issue for those patients.